Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be opening up my Google Chromecast um, and we're going to put some new uh, thermal compound in there and then we're going to put this uh, heat sink on there as well and we'll probably attach it using this thermal tape. Um, but over time the uh, thermal paste um, on these kind of uh, doesn't work as well and it kind of dries up. Um, that's why over time most people will notice some decreased performance from their Google Chromecast, um, especially when casting um, something from your laptop um, to this. Uh, so let's get this open, um, get it taken apart, put some new thermal paste on it. We'll get a, uh, we'll probably just leave this top off and we'll get this attached um, to the metal or kind of like right on top of the CPU there. Um, and then I'll give you guys an update on if it works any better. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that now. All right. Uh, so after poking around, I figured out like the best place to start with your screwdriver is kind of right where the uh, um, the cord goes in. And then you can kind of slowly peel it back. Um, essentially it's just held on there with either glue or some clips. Let's see if I can work around here. And just kind of slowly, there it goes. So I got the top off. This is the inside. Um, so we'll try and get this out of here. Uh, so let me uh, take a look at that and get back with you guys. Okay, so I got a, a T5. There's these two little screws here. Um, you can take those out. T5. And then hopefully we can just lift this off. Then this back plate, uh, let's see, there's a third screw up here. And this hopefully will just come out, yep. So you can see here, this is that thermal paste um, that basically it is not really working anymore. Um, this is a heat sink right here that it uses. Um, so our plan uh, would be to put new thermal paste on and then use this as the heat sink for the back. And then we'll, what we'll do is we'll put that on, we'll tape the whole thing around with the thermal tape, and then uh, we'll see how that works in terms of uh, getting the cooling that we want. Before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and take the, each of these metal pieces off because uh, I think there's some thermal compound underneath there that I can also replace. Um, so you just get a, kind of a real small flat head here. We start working up little metal pieces here. And as I slowly work around, it starts to come off. There we go. Um, so you can see there, there's the, uh, the old thermal compound that I think we would probably benefit from putting some new thermal compound on there. Do the same thing on this side here. See this side's giving me a little more trouble. There we go. Let's see if we can work our work our way around here. There, we got one. We got a good start there. I'll put you guys on a time lapse.
So this is what you end up with. Um, you see the old thermal compound here. Um, there's no, th there's only thermal compound kind of on that side. I wonder if you, if I add some to these other kind of chips here, if that'll help. Um, so that'll be my plan is to clean this up and then put more thermal compound on it, take off the old stuff. Um, interestingly enough, the HDMI cord, um, it can be detached pretty easily. Um, they can kind of for easy cleaning. Um, otherwise everything in here looks fine. Um, we're going to do that, put the, the heat sink on, um, and go from there. All right, so this is uh, our final product here. Uh, very ugly looking. Obviously, uh, I think black thermal tape would have looked a little better. Um, but it goes behind your TV, uh, so who cares what it looks like if it works well. Uh, but it's got a bunch of ther thermal paste on it now. It's got a huge heat sink. Uh, I put it on this side. I could have put it on the other side. Um, but the other side already has a heat sink on it, so I figured put a second one on here. And that might help. Um, we'll see how this holds up. I'll update. I'm going to go use this uh, for a few days, and I'll give you guys an update on if, whether or not it's working any better.